What's up, YouTubers? Advent Child here with another exciting review. Um, most of my friends know that I'm a huge Star Wars geek. I admit it. I'm a huge nerd. But, you know what? I don't care. So, anyways, I got uh, this the other day. It's the Anakin Skywalker FX lightsaber. Right now I just have the uh, hilt. It comes with this little insert that you put in there. Um, just to make it look more realistic, so you don't just have a gaping hole there, I guess. Um, it's pretty accurate. It's pretty well built. It's actually like aluminum and metal. I was kind of actually surprised by how well constructed it was for a Hasbro toy. So, <clears throat> that being said, um, when you have that insert in, you try to turn it on. It gives you a little short-circuiting sound. So... We'll put the blade in, and I'll show you guys that. And um, it's pretty accurate as far as like looks go. I mean, it has this little screw-in piece insert here that um, allows you to switch this out with the blade, and that's not really accurate to the movie, but for all intents and purposes, it was fine. So it makes that little clicking noise to let you know that you got it seated in there properly. <clears throat> and so, I mean, as far as this blade or whatever you want to call it goes, I mean, I don't really know how safe it is to duel with it, I guess. I mean, um, you know, it doesn't feel that sturdy. So, I mean, maybe if you went in, like, half force, you know, you could pull it off I'm sure it'd probably be fine I also don't know if they sell uh, replacements for this I'm sure they do um, I got this on thinkgeek.com I paid about I think $120 for it or something like that but um, I'll show you what it's all about well first of all I'm going to show you with the light on just so you can kind of um, hear the noises and all that stuff so a nice low hum, got a little motion sensor in there. And then it also has a clash sound. You don't have to hit it too hard to get the clash sound. I heard on somebody else's review, they were saying that you had to actually strike it pretty hard to get the clash sound. I haven't really had that problem. I mean, I don't know if it's just you got a different one or what the deal is but I haven't encountered any problem with that so now I'm gonna show you guys this thing with the lights off it's actually really surprisingly bright and I you gotta love that scrolling effect it's pretty cool Also, I heard on another review, somebody said that they could actually see the LEDs in this tube. That's also a problem I haven't encountered. I mean, I, they're really not visible to me at all. So, I mean, you know, it might be a hit or miss thing. So, just keep that in mind before buying one of these. Um, that, you know, that might be something you want to take into consideration. You know, with... Uh, like Ultra Sabers, I thought about getting one of those, but you know, they are just too ridiculously expensive. And, um, for me anyway, I mean, those are like $400. Um, also comes with this belt clip, which, I'm sorry, I forgot to go over that, but lets you, um, hook in your saber right onto your belt or your costume or whatever, which is pretty cool. So, hope you guys found this review somewhat helpful. Um, I definitely recommend this, you know, if you know somebody that's a big Star Wars fan, you know, it's kind of just one of those things I had to have after I played with it for a little bit. But, um, yeah, I would recommend this product, actually, for, you know, Hasbro toy. I'm pretty impressed at the quality of it. So, hope you guys found this helpful. Take it easy.